What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're looking at Power Automate on Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at an action which is post an adaptive card to a user and wait for a response. So this action allows you to post what's called an adaptive card to a user and then wait and collect some responses and then use that later on in your flow. So if you watched my last video on my introduction to adaptive cards, I'll kind of be going over adaptive cards in this action again, but I'll be going into a little bit more detail about the flow action itself and less about adaptive cards in general. If you want to learn about adaptive cards, you can click on the link up here. So let's get into it. So I'm in my um, flow here and I've got a manual trigger and click on new step. Go to Microsoft Teams and then scroll down to post an adaptive card to a user and wait for response preview. So this is a preview action and I will kind of mention that there is a slight bug in the designer at the moment. So uh, I'm going to go through that. So um, it's asking me for a couple of things. It's asking me for a recipient. It's asking me for a message. It's asking me for an update message, which is optional. Uh, should you update the card or not? I click on show advanced options. It's got a summary and is alert. So the recipient is the email address of the user that you want to post this adaptive card to. So in my instance, I actually want to post it to uh, myself, uh, that one, um, and we'll find it from the list there, and we'll put that in there. So that's all good. Now the message is actually the JSON message that will build the adaptive card. So as I mentioned in the previous video, you can build this in the adaptive card designer website and copy your JSON into here, else you can actually use an adaptive card designer in Power Automate. However, you'll notice that there is no button for that on here. Again, like I showed in the last video, what we're going to do is we're going to save this, then we're going to turn on some experimental features. So for the message, that's the JSON body or the JSON schema that you are going to build up to create your adaptive card. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put in a couple of braces um, and then it'll allow me to save this and update it uh, and change the settings. So the update message is going to be what is shown on the card after you submit the action. So you could be like a little update message after you submitted saying thank you for submitting or great, we'll get back to you soon. Um, there is a button for should the card update, yes or no. This tells you whether on submit you're actually going to update that card uh, or if it's just going to stay on the same screen. Uh, if you choose no, it'll stay on the same screen. If you choose yes, it will update and show you that update message. Summary is the kind of summary message that will be sent along with the adaptive card. So we can type something in here to the user to give them a bit more context around what the adaptive card is um, specifically. Uh, and this is especially useful if you may have multiple flows that will trigger different adaptive cards. Uh, oh, sorry, the same adaptive card, but you may want different messages about why you're collecting that data at that point. Is alert will also show you if that it will also notify the user. So they'll find a little chat message, but it'll also appear in the, because uh, this is sent via the Flowbot. So it will show either in the Flowbot, uh, popping up with a notification, as well as in the activity as well. So now that we've got these things in here, what one thing I'll do is I'll save this, and then I will click on the cog, click View All Power Automate Settings, <clears throat> and then I'll turn on the experimental features click save and then it's going to reload the page which is why we needed to save it. So now that I've done that I've got my recipient um, my recipient in here um, which is the email address which is just a little bug at the moment that I can't add that in afterwards uh, through this designer. Uh, next I next I can actually see there's there's another option here that wasn't previously here which is a message. So message was here, but we actually have the it broken down into two parts, enter a key and then enter a value. So what this is, is a way for you to input different parameters from your flow into your adaptive card. So for instance, on my manual trigger, I've got this thing here, this, this manual input that says text for adaptive card. And I could put, let's say, first name, uh, uh, yeah, first, uh, no, what, what do we want in there? Enter the key. So we're going to have uh, input, uh, no, 
will have trigger input. And then the value is going to be um, from this input here. And what we will do is we will type first name into here. So now that I've got that in this little uh, this little sort of table, I can click on create adaptive card. And it's going to come up with the default card. So I'm going to choose new card. Uh, I'll choose a blank one. And then I'll drag a container in to contain some stuff. And then I will put a text block in. Uh, and the text block, what I'm going to do is instead of it saying new text block and me specifying the text here, I'm going to choose bind. And then I can use that trigger input, which is a string in here. And then whatever I put in the trigger input is actually what is going to appear in um, this label. So you can actually bind values from your flow into the adaptive car, which is really cool. Uh, next, I will choose a text input, uh, and the text input will put something like um, enter name, name here. Have to give it an ID because it's an input, so we'll put name ID. Uh, next, I'm actually going to use a choice. So I'm going to drag a choice into here, um, and I'll drag some text into here as well, and choose and it, for the text. We'll actually write something in here and say uh, which next gen uh, next gen console will you be purchasing? And then for the placeholder text, what we will do is we will add in some choices. So there there are four boxes here. I think the box on the left is the ID of the choice and the box on the right is the text that will show. So we'll change the one on the right, uh, Xbox Series X. Uh, we'll add one here, Xbox Series S. Um, we'll choose, uh, yeah, title and line. Now put choice three. Um, we'll put uh, play, PlayStation 5, uh, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation not a real word. It's not a real word. Oh, maybe PlayStation. I don't know. PlayStation 5, uh, all digital. Uh, can't spell digital either. Uh, we'll add choice 4 in, choice 4, and that'll be uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 5 uh, disc. Disc version. We'll call it that. Can't remember what the names are. So uh, I need to give this an ID and we'll say uh, next gen ID. I'll be fine. Um, so I can save this, uh, but before I save it, I may want to preview it. And I've lost the preview button. I can't remember where it is now. Uh, sure, isn't there somewhere? Where's the preview button? I'm losing my mind. There's definitely a preview button, but I just can't see it. Oh well, we will not preview this, we will just save this and we'll, we'll test it out. If I go back in now, Adaptive Dart, there it is, preview mode. Click preview mode and it'll show this and then we have a, I did those things the wrong way around. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll change that all here. So we'll click out preview mode. I knew I was trying to do something wrong. Uh, we'll just copy this into here. Copy this, copy this. And copy this, and then we have these um, boxes here that we can remove it or we can add new ones. So we'll save uh, and we'll just preview that, make sure I do actually have the, yeah, cool, got the right things in there now. That's all great. Save the card. Um, save. Oh, yeah, I didn't make any changes. Fine. So, um, so then we have an update message. So we could put in the update message something like, uh, thank you for responding. Responding. Great. Uh, and we can say yes, we're going to update this card. And the advanced options will show a summary. Uh, please fill in the below questions. They are very important. And we can also say, right, this is going to be an alert. So we can show you what that does. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a quick compose action after this. And we'll chuck that in. And what we'll do, ah, nope, nope, don't want to do it. 
input is I know input is required, but you're not gonna let me input it. Ah, that's a bummer. Uh, oh, it's got rid of everything. Oh well, we'll just do this quickly um, again. Um, Okay, so as that composing broke my whole flow there, uh, I think there is a slight bug at the moment, so we're just gonna, uh, <laughs> just gonna move past that one. Uh, I've recreated the whole adaptive card. I, I didn't sit there and make you watch me do all that again, so I just stopped the video. So I've done all the same things again. We've got the update message, we've got the adaptive card, we've got the choices, we've got the trigger inputs, we've got everything. So what we will do is we'll click on test, out for trigger action, save and test, uh, we'll continue with the Microsoft Teams thing, and then we'll put in full name. Uh, we'll put in something like, please enter your full name. And that's going to go in that trigger input that we that we bound to that first piece of text. Uh, and we'll click run flow, click done. See the flow is running, it's now waiting for the response. Uh, I can go over to my Teams, and you'll notice I have several notifications, so I've got uh, a notification here. I've also got a notification in my flow bot. And usually it actually sends me a notification in my alerts as well, in my activities as well, but it's not. I'll just go up to uh, the chat and we can see we have this. So please enter your full name. That is the text that we put into the trigger, the manual trigger, and um, that has bound to that bit there. So we can put in Matt uh, Collins Jones. And then we can say, right, okay, uh, what, which next gen console are we doing? Uh, and we'll do Series X. Although one thing I forgot to do, uh, which is a problem, is I forgot to add a submit action. So we'll just quickly add that in. Uh, go here, uh, this, everything threw me off here, so we'll click submit. And we'll say, we'll just call it submit. Uh, and we'll save the chart. And we'll test this again. Uh, and instead of writing all that text, what we'll do is we'll just write uh, name in there. We'll run the flow. We'll go back to uh, Teams and look, we got a new one. It now says name and not please enter your full name. So we know how that works. So Matt Collins Hayden Jones. Uh, yeah, that's misspelled. But, uh, uh, I've got an Xbox Series X um, pre ordered. So that is the one I'll be purchasing. And I can click submit. And then it updates and says, thank you for filling this out. That's great. And if I go back to my flow, I can see that it's done that and it's got a response back from me. Uh, and we've got the actions, we've got the names that it's put in, it's got the next gen ID in there as well, because that's the that's the name of the content. So if my compose action was working after this, I could say, okay, it's next gen ID, that's the thing that I want uh, to get out, and I can use that later on in my flow. So this is how you use this action. This is how you can get content out of it. Uh, and if the rest of Power Automate was working for me today, I could show you that, but it's not. Ah, oh, well. Um, but you know how, how Compose actions work and you know how the body works. So um, because you've watched all my videos, um, all 340 something of them. And there we go. This is how this works. So adaptive cards are really useful. You should definitely check out my last video on adaptive cards. That would be really useful for you. Um, I hope this video is useful, although I did have a few technical glitches, it's just the way life is. So it's always good to try to keep those in, show you that nothing in life is perfect and you may have problems. So yeah, so that's all good. Um, what did you guys think of this? Is this an action that you use already? Is it not an action you use already? Is it something that maybe this has inspired you to use it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.